Welcome to another in the continuing series of 4-Minute Fridays by TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I'm a senior application engineer here at TPM. Today's topic is going to be creating both a horizontal and a vertical label for electrical fixtures. So with that said, let's go on over to Revit. Now over here in Revit, I have the, um, the standard uh, duplex receptacle out of the box with a couple changes to it. Uh, in fact, we did this in an earlier version of our 4-Minute Fridays where we made these symbols right-hand read and we brought them off of the wall, which they were kind of into the wall to begin with. So we've already made uh, these symbols right-hand read. If you'd like to be able to do that, you can look back at our old 4-Minute Friday on that and it'll give you great instructions on how to do that. But right now, today, we want to take this forward and we want to get in a situation where we can have a horizontal, like we have right now, vertical version of this duplex receptacle and a vertical version of this duplex receptacle and we want to be able to toggle them both off if we want if we're going to use a tag instead. So that's where we're headed with the exercise. We're not going to make the tag in today's exercise. That'll be another four minute Friday. But we're going to make the horizontal and vertical version and the ability to turn them on and off. Now I'm going to select the duplex receptacle go up to edit family on my ribbon and it's going to open me up in my family now if it doesn't open you up in this view because I happen to already have mine open this is the under floor plans reference level view now in here we have the actual electrical box and all its constraints but what we're concerned with is this guy right here which is the symbolic representation so I'm going to select it and you notice that edit family is available for it as well so I'm going to click on edit family and back here in properties this is what made it right hand readable so like I said we have a video on that one so now I'm going to go in here and I am going to save this in a couple of different ways so I'm going to go up here and save as a family and I'm gonna call this one let's put it in a particular folder I'm gonna call this one duplex annotation horizontal and then I'm gonna rotate the text here and save it as duplex annotation vertical and then I'm going to delete this and save it as duplex annotation no label So now I have three different versions of this. So I'm going to load into my project and I'm going to load into the duplex receptacle because this is a nested family. And I'm going to bring it in and snap it into there and then escape to get out. Now I'm going to click on it and see if I can get the other version there. That's the version that I want and I want to delete that version okay so I deleted the old version with a label and now I have just this receptacle without a label now I do want to make sure it's locked in and I really don't think it is right now so let me drag it back in here and lock it into that location 
So now I do not have any label whatsoever. So now I'm going to open and I'm going to open the horizontal version of this. And I want to erase just the graphics. So I'm going to erase the graphics. And then I'm going to load into the project. Once again, I'm loading into the duplex receptacle because it's a nested family. And I'm going to place my annotation there. And then I'm going to open the other one, which is the vertical version of this. And I'm going to erase the geometry in here. Load again into the project. And once again, it's the duplex receptacle because it's nested. And snap it in place. So now I have the receptacle itself the label which is horizontal and the label which is vertical. Now in order to control the visibility of these I have to have some parameters set up. So I'm going to go over here to parameters and I'm going to create a couple parameters. So I'm going to create one for our vertical and I'm going to make it an instance parameter so I can choose whether to turn it on or off on each version of it. It's going to be a yes no parameter and I'm going to put it in the other area so it'll be right there with the label. So I'm going to go OK. Now while I'm here I'm going to create another one. For my horizontal, it's also going to be an instance. It's also going to be a yes, no, and I'm going to group it again in that other. I want to move label up so label's on top. And that looks good. So now I need to do two more things to make this work correctly. The first thing is I need to click on my horizontal one and instead of it being visible all the time I'm going to click on this associate with a parameter and the parameter I'm going to associate it with is horizontal. So when horizontal is checked it will be visible when it's not it won't. Now I'm also going to click on label here and associate it with label in this project. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the vertical version. I'm going to associate it with the parameter vertical and I'm going to associate label with label. So now we're going to load this back into our project and make sure it works. That's going to be project one. And I'm going to override this one. And there it is. Now I'm seeing both of them for all these. So let's go over here and just click on one of them. And I want to turn, say, horizontal off in that one. Same thing in this one. I want to turn horizontal off. And on that one, and might as well do both of these at the same time, I want to turn vertical off on those. So now I have both a horizontal and a vertical version of it. And I can choose when I want to see which one. Now if I had a very congested area, I can also choose whether horizontal or vertical or both off. So if I were to come in here and now turn vertical off, I'm not going to have either one of them turned on. Now this is going to be the situation where we'll pick up in the next 4-Minute Friday that I do and we'll talk about creating a tag that works off of that label as well as the panel and 
the circuit that it's on and so you can label it with that which allows you flexibility to move it around and reposition it any way you want so between the two things there we're going to have the ultimate flexibility in how we want to place and label our electrical fixtures. This has been another presentation in the series of 4-Minute Fridays from TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I want to thank you for joining us and invite you to come back and watch again. Thank you.